the mystery of black holes has plagued humanity for centuries. A lurking, dark, invisible star that swallows everything within its reach. A fascinating dark matter with an immense gravitational pull that not even the tiniest ray of light can escape its grasp. And as the holy grail of astronomy continues to pose more questions than answers, scientists embarked on a relentless journey to uncover its mysteries. From John Michel to the genius Albert Einstein to Carl Schwarzschild, and on and on the list goes. And finally, after years and years of efforts put in by legendary scientists, both living and dead, it seems science has once again proved its boundless wisdom. It appears scientists have finally found what lies inside a black hole. In the 18th century, two scientists, John Michel and Pierre Simon Laplace, proposed the existence of dark stars or invisible stars. They suggested that there could be extremely massive objects in space with such strong gravity that nothing, not even light, could escape from them. This theory shaped the concept of black holes, though at that time, several scientists doubted the theory. A big breakthrough happened in 1915 when Albert Einstein, a famous physicist, introduced his theory of general relativity, an idea that changed our understanding of gravity. Einstein explained that when a massive star dies, it leaves behind a small dense remnant core. If the core's mass is more than three times the mass of the Sun, the equations show the force of gravity overwhelms all other forces and produces a black hole. But even after Albert's theory, the idea of black holes remained a myth for a long time. It took about 50 years before scientists found proof that black holes exist. This happened in the 1960s when they studied a group of stars called the Cygnus constellation. They noticed something strange, a very bright blue star giving off X-rays. They realized that this star was orbiting around a mysterious object that was completely black. They called it a black hole because it was sucking in the X-rays from the star. This discovery was important because it showed that black holes are real and not just something Albert Einstein imagined. Building on Einstein's theory, a German physicist named Carl Schwarzschild generated a mathematical solution that described what we now call a black hole. According to this solution, there is a point at the center of a black hole called singularity that is incredibly small and dense. Around the singularity, there is a boundary called an event horizon from which nothing can escape. One would think that after the theories of these four geniuses, the scientific community would have been very convinced about the existence of black holes. But the very opposite was the case. It looks like those old scientists had a well of doubt stored in them. For many years after that, black holes were only a mathematical curiosity. Even the world's greatest general relativity scientists thought they couldn't exist in reality. To them, the thought of a star collapsing in on itself and generating an infinite density point appeared preposterous. Arthur Eddington, a notable scientist at the time, even suggested that there should be a natural rule prohibiting stars from acting in this manner. However, as physics advanced and the science of quantum mechanics evolved, scientists began to see the significance of both domains in understanding the behavior of highly massive and dense stars. The junction of general relativity and quantum physics, on the other hand, caused difficulties. The strange nature of these new fields of physics made it impossible for even the most bright brains to grasp the notion of black holes. And 50 years after Schwarzschild's groundbreaking study on the issue, there was still no agreement on whether black holes existed. Despite their reservations and skepticism, scholars continued to investigate the mysteries of the universe, motivated by a general interest and a desire to learn the secrets of the universe. And as technology evolved, they were able to stare further into space than ever before. And soon, their questions changed from do black holes exist to how are they formed? Birth from a star's death. Black holes are fascinating cosmic phenomena that form from the remnants of massive stars. When a large star reaches the end of its life and undergoes a supernova explosion, it can collapse under its gravity to form a black hole. This occurs when the star's mass is about three times that of the Sun. 
and no force can prevent its collapse. As the star collapses, an intriguing phenomenon occurs near its surface, close to a theoretical boundary called the event horizon. Time experiences a slowdown relative to distant observers as the star approaches this boundary. When the star reaches the event horizon, time effectively freezes and the collapse halts. At this point, the star becomes a frozen object collapsing, known as a black hole. Interestingly, black holes can also originate from collisions between objects in space. For instance, observations by NASA's Swift Telescope have revealed powerful bursts of light called gamma-ray bursts, which occurs when a black hole and a neutron star collide, resulting in the formation of another black hole. Black holes come in two distinct size categories, leading to a long-standing scientific mystery. Stellar mass black holes, which are remnants of massive stars, are relatively small and typically have a mass ranging from 10 to 24 times that of the Sun. Detecting these black holes is challenging, but based on the number of suitable stars, scientists estimate that there could be anywhere from tens of millions to billions of stellar black holes in our galaxy, the Milky Way. On the other end of the scale, we have supermassive black holes, which are incredibly enormous, weighing millions or even billions of times more than the Sun. These colossal black holes are believed to reside at the centers of most large galaxies, including our own Milky Way. Astronomers can identify them by observing their influence on nearby stars and gas. Although they cannot directly observe black holes using traditional telescopes, they can still study them by observing their impact on surrounding matter. When a black hole encounters interstellar material or a nearby star, it pulls matter inward through a process called accretion. This inward pull can even tear apart a star, causing the matter to accelerate and heat up, resulting in the emission of X-rays into space. Exciting recent discoveries have provided evidence of the profound influence black holes have on their surroundings. They can emit powerful bursts of gamma rays, gobble up neighboring stars, and even influence the formation of new stars in some regions while impeding it in others. In a nutshell, although we can't directly see black holes, we can study their effects on nearby matter, which offers intriguing insights into their behavior and influence on the surrounding cosmos. This has led scientists to go further in unraveling the mystery of black holes and discovering what lies inside a black hole. In a Twitter post released May 13, 2023, Dr. Michio Kaku went on to reveal that for the first time, astronomers have captured an image of a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy known as Sagittarius A. According to Dr. Michio's description of the physical form of a black hole, in the case of a non-rotating black hole, a more accurate representation would be a black sphere. This sphere symbolizes the event horizon, which marks the boundary beyond which nothing can escape. Inside this sphere, it is believed that there exists an incredibly small point, referred to as the black hole itself. On the other hand, for a rotating black hole, the structure of the black hole is likely to be a ring made up of spinning neutrons. The centrifugal forces generating by the rotation prevent the ring from collapsing. This rotating ring is then compressed by the event horizon. According to scientists, the inside of a black hole consists of three layers, the event horizon, the photon sphere, and the singularity. The event horizon is the point of no return beyond which anything entering the black hole will be pulled in. The photon sphere is a region where light orbits the black hole and cannot escape. To get to the nothingness part of the black hole, you have to make it through the first two layers. The first layer is called the event horizon, which, while in the first layer, it is the point of no return. Once you pass the event horizon, there's no turning back, and you will be sucked into the black hole. It only gets worse from there on out. The second layer is the photon sphere, which is the region where light orbits the black hole. Any light that enters this region will be trapped and will not be able to escape the black hole's gravitational pull. Finally, we come to the third layer, which is singularity. This is where everything that enters the black hole gets compressed down astronomically until it becomes a singularity. Singularity is a point in space-time where the laws of physics as we know them break down 
and we just can't predict what happens next. At the singularity, the density is infinite, and the laws of physics as we know them cease to exist. The singularity is the central point of infinite density, where matter and energy are compressed to an indescribable state. More has not been discovered as there are difficulties in sending a probe inside a black hole due to the intense gravitational pull which would crush anything that enters the event horizon. What are the challenges of studying black holes? Studying black holes presents a myriad of challenges for scientists, each requiring innovative solutions and perseverance. One big problem is the huge distance between black holes and the Earth. Black holes are usually in far-off galaxies so it's hard to get detailed information about them. Scientists need advanced telescopes and instruments to observe and study things that are millions or billions of light years away. Another problem is that black holes themselves are tricky. The event horizon, which is the point where nothing can escape the black hole's strong gravity, makes it impossible to see inside a black hole directly. Light can't get out, so we can't see what's happening inside. Also, black holes are super compact and dense. Their strong gravity causes space to bend a lot, and that makes it hard to understand how they behave. They produce high energy like X-rays and gamma rays, but it's difficult to observe and understand them. Understanding black holes also needs good theories. Scientists have to know a lot about general relativity, quantum mechanics, and how they fit together to explain black holes. Figuring out this unified theory is an ongoing research challenge. It requires a deep understanding of two pillars of modern physics, general relativity and quantum mechanics. Theoretical physicists strive to reconcile these two theories and develop a comprehensive framework known as a theory of quantum gravity. This endeavor remains an active area of research as a complete understanding of black holes necessitates a unified approach that can describe their behavior on both macroscopic and microscopic scales. Moreover, the study of black holes raises profound questions about the nature of space, time, and the fundamental laws of the universe. Exploring these enigmatic entities pushes the boundaries of our current scientific knowledge and requires innovative approaches and theoretical breakthroughs. In the future, scientists are filled with hope and anticipation as they expect to uncover more about black holes. They believe that new and improved tools such as telescopes and instruments will assist them in gaining a deeper understanding of these mysterious celestial objects. With these advancements, scientists could gather detailed information and unlock the secrets of black holes.